Hey guys, it's Vicki. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be going over things that sold from September 8th through the 14th on Poshmark. I'm actually going to do a voiceover because my video decided to record without sound. So anyway, let's go ahead and get into it. So this first item is a Fly London Una leather ankle wedge sandal and it sold for $28. Um, I probably took a little less than I probably could have got out of it, but I didn't pay much for them. So it was a $20 profit. That was fine with me. Um, the next item was this vintage United Colors of Benetton sweater. It sold for $15. Uh, the tag was a little older than the new ones. The new ones are like a green, like a small green tag. So... I was a little confused on if it was vintage or not, but I'm pretty sure it was. All right, this next item is an Adidas original trefoil t-shirt. It sold for 15. This is a Tommy Hilfiger gray sweatshirt. It sold for 15. This is a LuLaRoe leopard print Cassie skirt. It sold for 20. This pair of Sandor linen capri pants sold for $15. This is a loft striped poncho sweater. It sold for $21. All right, so this is a bundle. It was a bundle of eight items. It was uh, $50 for the entire bundle. So the first item is an Akinney gray pullover hoodie. And I don't know exactly what I was saying at this point, but I'm taking my sweet time. Uh, this silence and noise floral mini dress was included. These Adidas lavender climalite shorts were included. This Hello Kitty Sanrio silver sequin shoulder tote. This Lucky Brand Geo print button up top. This Bila Paisley two fur maxi dress. This Vince Camuto contrast trim keyhole top and this Star Wars Resistance gray t-shirt. So all eight of, eight of those sold for $50. Um, the next item, I really wish I knew what I was saying at this point. All right, so the next item is a Solace London Lint Top ultramarine i got an offer of 75 dollars for it which i accepted and there's actually somebody who's wanting it for 200 dollars. but you know the item itself retail for 158 but it is a very rare piece i have no idea how i found that at my bins honestly i had i'm i was shocked um especially because i had no idea what it was it, it was kind of ugly to be quite honest it had hems that were coming out of the seams were like exposed it was really strange looking but apparently it was worn by kendall jenner and selena gomez it's you know and a lot of people like to get stuff these celebrities wear so um in this i was just basically showing where the hems were and all of that good stuff so anyway the next item was this pair of stuart weitzman black velvet suede mules this is a bundle that my mom actually bought. I would have gave her this stuff for free, but she wanted to pay for it. Um, but it's just these two skirts. And I think her total is like $20 in free shipping. Uh, this is a Cabbie Gathered Placket Blouse, sold for $15. And a Cabbie Purple Swoon Tank, sold for $14. They actually both sold on the same day, so that was different. And this is me trying to figure out how to... Okay, so this is a bundle of three items. The William Rass High Rise Shorts. Um, come on, Vicky. Uh, the Rebecca Taylor Blue Raw Hem Top. And a pair of American Eagle uh, Distress Cutoff Shorts. And I believe I sold her that for 30 or 34 All right, this is Anthropology Amity Looped Linen Tank. It sold for $18. This is an A Buyer Satin Paisley Top. It sold for $12. A pair of Cole Haan Nike Air Snakeskin Peep Toe Wedge sold for $14. Uh, this is Coconut Snake Print Boots. They sold for $21. 
This is a pair of BKE Soul Pluto boots. They sold for 15. This is a Michael Michael Kors leather shoulder bag. It sold for 12. Um, it was a nice uh, bag, but it did have a lot of staining on the lining on the inside. And of course the outside needed a little bit cleaning itself. I, you know, wiped it down with like warm water, um, but that was about all I did to it. So hopefully they'll like it. It's a small purse. All right, so this is Fat Face. Um, this is a brand I was not familiar with. It actually has really good comps in the 30s and 40s. Um, this was a gray floral Simone dress. It sold for 28. This is a Love Fire navy blue satin medallion blouse. It sold for nine. This vintage Pendleton black wool crop blazer sold for 39, my full asking price. Uh, Lily Pulitzer Whitaker dress in blue sold for 20. Um, this dress actually had, it was like kind of had a fuzzy layer over the top of it because whoever owned it before probably put it in the wash when it was dry clean only. So I kind of disclosed, you know, that it's not really pilling as more, it's more, it's not pilling. It's just like where it's been obviously put in the wash in the dryer. Um, but it's got like a fuzzy layer, layer over it. Um, but yeah, so, all right. Um, the next item, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> all right. The next item is a Vineyard Vines Relaxed Coastside Stripe Popover. It's over 35. I paid a dollar for this at Goodwill Dollar Days. Uh, this is a flying tomato off-white bell sleeve dress. It sold for 15 and they sell flying tomato, I believe, at Urban Outfitters. This is a Johnny Was for Love and Liberty embroidered top. I sold it for 20 Um, The reason I sold it so cheap was, first of all, it was an older top, but it had a flaw right here. Um, it was kind of like a hole in the hem. But the shirt was so flowy, you really can't even see that, so... All right, Miracle Suit Wild Side Mesh Plunge Swimsuit sold for $30. All right, so this is a bundle of five items. It's this Marc Jacobs Floral Silk Tank, Earth Spirit Leather Juniper Sandals, Moda Explora's Reptile Print Mules, Tord Skinny Leg Jeans, and this Alice and Olivia Silk Blend Polka Dot Dress. And I gave her the boots, the little ankle boots for free because they had sat for a while and she's a repeat customer. So, um, everything else she had was in my floor for 25 cell. So. All right. And the last item is a pair of Vince Camuto black Curtis heeled boots. I sold them for 20. Um, they did have a spot on the heel, the inner part of the heel where the leather was kind of chipped. Um, I actually did sand that down and it looks a lot better than it does in this photo. So hopefully they will be happy with their order. Um, but anyway, so I will go ahead and tell you my numbers for the week. Uh, my gross profit, well, my gross sales was $780. My net was $663.28. My cost of goods was right at $70. So my profit was $593.28. And if you want to take away taxes, you can take away 30%. I haven't done that. Let me see. What is it? I'll go ahead and calculate that up real quick. All right. So $593. So after taxes, if you want to take away taxes, it would be 415. 29 would be my complete total profit for the week, which is good, good with me. Um, you know, I do have a daughter that I claim on my taxes, so I don't even know if I'll actually be paying because I haven't made over $20,000 this year. Um, and I'm not sure if I will make $20,000 by December. So I'm kind of keeping an eye on that right now. But anyway, that is it for everything that sold September 8th through the 14th on Poshmark. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please let me know in the comments below. Or you can follow me on Instagram at Allie Bethany. And if you like this type of content, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Um, and if you don't like this content, you can give me a thumbs down or just let me know in the comments. <laughs> so I will talk to you all in my next video. I hope you all have a great day. Bye.